Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Artori Gold, and today I'd like to talk about Brigitte. Now, she's seen a lot of nerfs recently, but honestly, I think she's even more fun to play now that she actually can be punished or have consequences for these really crazy actions that she could have had normally. So one of the big things to talk about is her shield has been reduced by 300, her E is no longer instant, and it's this heal over time effect, but you get like three charges with it, which is pretty nice. And of course her self healing is now halved. So you can't just kind of have this really crazy healing going off from your passive. Now one strong thing about Brigitte in this meta that I can say is actually pretty good is most people are playing double shields, which means Orisa and Sigma, and maybe sometimes a Reinhardt. So you can basically get in there and melee the enemy tanks past their shields, which is something that a lot of people are trying to do because shield break comps just aren't really always there or aren't enough. And another hero that people are playing because of double shields is Doomfist and Symmetra. Doomfist because of course you punch people behind the shields and it kind of, you know, makes the shields obsolete. And then you have the Symmetra strategy, which is just because you can just infinitely left click, don't have to reload, uh, ramps up the damage really quickly and things like that. So Brigitte is really strong against double shield if you have the ability to engage with them, but since you can't really do a triple support strategy, it makes that a little bit more difficult because now you're lacking that Lucio. You of course could do a Lucio with Brig, but then you're really lacking on the healing, so that's not really recommended. But if you do have a very aggressive lineup, especially a Doomfist, that a Brig can be pretty powerful depending on how, you know, crazy the Doomfist is going with his plays, because you can, you know, hit him with that E, let him get some armor, maybe get some heal over time going, and then while they're distracted and trying to deal with the Doomfist, who's flying around at mock speeds, uh, you can kind of go in there and melee the tanks. Actually, this is kind of a good example of that. You can see right here that the enemy has two shields just kind of sitting here. But even though they have two shields, I can sit here and I can melee through, you know, both the Sigma and the Orisa shield, and it doesn't really matter. Most of my team doesn't, you know, they're just going to sit here on the cart, push the payload, and apply pressure to the front line, and they're not really able to deal with you either. So one of the biggest things that you can do is to not try to go past the shield. That's one very important thing that you have to do as Brig. Because if you go past the shield and you have an Ana as your second healer, which I do in this instance, she can't heal you. This also applies to main tank players. If you're a main tank player and a Sigma, this is kind of something that you'll see happen, you know, occasionally, is if a Sigma has his shield, he'll push it forward and it'll actually go behind you. Let's pretend this is you, right? It'll put the shield right behind you and it'll block the Anna so she's not able to shoot through that shield and heal you and basically you're just going to be dead if you be too aggressive and the enemy team is able to focus you and that's something that you have to worry about as Brig. Your shield it pretty much dies pretty quickly I mean it's only 200 a Hanzo breaks it with literally just two charged arrows and if he uses an E on you his storm arrows or whatever those are instantly going to delete your shield. So as you can see here, I'm not going to fully commit to the Orisa. I'm kind of just left click meleeing her and she's going to just ignore me. And then when she doesn't have her fortify up, I'm able to get off a nice stun and kind of push her away. One of the strategies that I'm also doing here, it's kind of an old time classic, but if you're kind of in the heat of the moment and you're taking some damage, what you want to try and do is you want to go in and melee just once or twice to make sure your passive is getting refreshed and you're getting the healing and you're enabling it and then put your shield up right after and kind of let your health kind of just heal over time a little bit before going in for some more melee attacks. So you really have to be patient with Brig and her self-healing. You're not really going to heal yourself as much as you used to. If you played Brig in the old days, you'll really feel kind of the difference in the self-healing. So you want to be aggressive with your ultimates and make sure to use it on payload situations just like this. Of course, I have a nano boost, so this just, you know, puts a lot of pressure on the cart to where the enemy isn't able to do anything. Uh, nano Brig is pretty decent if she has her ultimate. Um, the only thing that really stops a Brig from killing people when she's nanoed is basically from being kited. In this instance, there's a Lucio with speed boost and booping, so activating my ultimate to just be faster and to commit and stay on targets is a really good strategy, especially if you, you know, you have that damage boost from Nano, but it's also really good to do it just on payload situations, especially if the payload is this close. 
Um, it's always really good to pop that ultimate because everybody who's fighting on the payload, especially the main tanks like Orisa, who aren't really going to move a lot, they're going to get like the full benefit of that rally. Um, and that's really good for the rally. You want to make sure you use it when everybody's going to get the full duration of it and uh, on the objective is really the best time to look for it. So just a really small thing about Brig, but before a fight engages, you really want to hit someone with your shift ability. So if you're able to hit a shift early on in a fight, doing that, it's not really for the damage or the boot potential, right? It's just because it activates your passive early on in a fight. And sometimes you don't want to go, you know, fully commit to the W, especially if you're running an Orisa. Uh, double shield is very common strategy right now, and it's very powerful. And you want to know the limitations of your tanks. Even though Brigitte wants to go in and push forward. Orisa and Sigma don't always do that and because there's not a Lucio speed boost to enable that either you really want to be cautious and wait for your tanks. Brig shouldn't go in first unless you're really like you know you're going to get in there and get a kill or if it's an overtime situation but in a situation where it's still like 6v6 or something you, you want to play safe you want to play you know very passive you want to make sure that you're just healing people. Brig isn't as much of an unstoppable juggernaut who could just kill everything on site and also never die. She is more of a support hero now. She actually, you know, focuses on peeling and healing, and she does a lot of things on the back line and helping, you know, her other support stay alive if there is a Doomfist trying to flank or something like that. And you really want to make sure that you get that passive uptime 100%, and you don't want to go and commit to those kills. Like, if you were to walk in and just kind of, you know, even though we have a pick on the enemy Doomfist, and even though I could probably, you know, start smacking away at these two tanks who are clearly alone, and you don't really see much going on, and they're down one player, my Orisa is focused on the point. She's not going to get in their face and my Sigma is somewhere behind me, so that's not happening either. Whenever you're playing Brig or just, you know, a support hero in general, you don't want to be too aggressive because if you die early in the fight, that's basically your team losing sustainability, and that's something you don't want. Um, just dying this early on can basically cause the snowball to just stop, right? You can see that we're basically about to snowball these people. If I die, then we only have one healer, and that's too much work, and there's less pressure on them. Because Brig does deal a ton of damage to the enemy team, the longer you are alive, there is more pressure because you are kind of like a, a frontline presence whenever you can be aggressive. But always look at your tanks, see what they're doing. Let them push forward first. Don't go in by yourself or else you will be very easy to kill. Brig is very, very easy to kill now. So you always want to be cautious and know your limitations. So I wanted to give another quick example of this. Same thing can be used against Reinhardt as it always has been. It's very easy to punish a Reinhardt who is out of position. I don't think Reinhardt is that great in the meta right now, however, it could definitely change depending on who is playing the Reinhardt and what the team comp looks like, but generally more coordinated teams could pull off that a lot better, but in solo queue situations, I think double shields is just way too powerful right now because people are a lot less coordinated, and that's also one of the biggest reasons why Doomfist and Symmetra are so strong, because not only does it deal a lot of damage and work against those double shield strategies, but in solo queue people are less likely to focus down targets that are on the back line and less call outs less team communication etc etc so in this instance the reinhardt is very clearly out of position and my tanks are pushing forward on him and even though his shield is up people are not always able to do damage against him and that's kind of where brig really shines she can do damage against people who have a shield just keep note that you can't stun him unless you are behind the shield but it's very easy to just walk into an enemy who's not really able to fight back like this reinhardt he's not able to do anything except just hit that S key. And when you do that as Reinhardt, you pretty much are in just a losing position as it is. So with double shields being pretty popular and pretty strong, I think the support meta is definitely changing. I think Zenyatta is not very good against double shields. His orbs just aren't really able to reach enemies. Discord can be very powerful against people like Arissa, though, because, I mean, her head hitbox is so huge, and putting a Discord orb on her is basically like death. 
One very strong thing that I like about Brigitte against double shields is that her melee attacks can go through them and you can basically stun the Sigma pretty easily and make quick work of him. However, the fortified Orisa doesn't really care about you and she can halt you and things of that nature. But the big issue is, is if you are able to close the gap to the enemy. If the enemy has double shield, it's very difficult to try and hit W and get to them, especially if you have a double shield strategy of your own. But I do think Brig can be very good against them if you're able to pull it off and your team is aggressive enough. If you have maybe even a Zarya, the bubble can really enable you. Her stun is very powerful against mobile targets as well. If the enemy has any, you know, sort of flankers like Genji or Hammond, your stun can really stop their momentum and it makes them much easier to kill. Um, another good thing about it, of course, is just that having her E on three charges, I'll say, is actually pretty great. I think it comes back very quickly, and it's very easy to just kind of use your E on your whole team and heal them up. And, of course, with your passive healing going on at the same time, it's actually pretty effective healing. And I think that you shouldn't really worry too much about the charges, and I really wouldn't worry about that and throw them out there for the armor occasionally if you can as well, because I think that that it's very effective to have that bonus armor whenever an enemy or whenever your ally is about to engage especially on heroes that dive like doomfist anyways guys that's all i have for today thanks so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time